Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 65 of Darwell20, it's all the mods 8, let's play series, uh, where today I want to try something. Uh, maybe, maybe this will work, maybe it won't, I'm not sure, but we're going to find out together. Uh, I'm going to set up a little bit of auto-crafting for seeds if I can, um, and see if I can't get this guy to be auto-craftable. Does that sound fun? I think so. Um... So let's 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 get this set up. Um, what I'd like to do is make a generically auto craftable thing for this because, and it's not going to be perfect, but I'm okay with that. What I want it to be is something where I can make a bunch of seeds all at once. Because what I decided is my emeralds are too slow. So I said maybe I could have like an entire farm dedicated to emeralds. And you might notice I have a bunch of lily pads of fertility in my inventory. Because I made about a stack's worth of fertile essences. And that converts down to 21 because it's 3 each. So 63 uh, turns into 21. So uh, my plan is to try and make a bunch of emerald seeds and see if that's good. Uh, and then if that is good, maybe I'll do something similar with diamonds so that we're ready for that. Uh, and, you know, if I, like, surrounded this farm with lily pads of fertility, maybe that would be cool. I, we'll see. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just winging it. I'm trying to see if I can't make it more fun, uh, or at least a faster approach to this whole setup. Right? And that should be cool. And we can put some lily pads in the middle, too. That would be neat. We'll try it. Um, so to get this cooking... What I need to do is basically have um, an input and an output chest. Okay. Um, like, how about here? How about here? Does this look like a nice place for an output? So, like, we'll do input there, output here. I think it could be cool. All right. Now, I'm thinking laser I.O. for this. Um, because I want to be able to strongly focus on what the filters are on stuff, right? So let's do this guy. So on the up, you will insert on orange. Okay. And you on the up will extract on orange, but you're going to need a filter, which will deny prosperity seeds. Right. So you're not allowed to pull out prosperity seeds. You are allowed to pull out anything else. So, for example, uh, and then uh, obviously we're going to want to connect this guy to this guy. But. Cool or no, uh, on the up, you're going to extract. Basic filter. Deny list prosperity seed base. Maybe he has to finish crafting before he lets that happen. Let's see. I'm not sure how the automation of this works, but we're going to find out together. And just for fun, we're going to automate this thing today. That's that's the plan, at least. Hey, there we go. And then Emerald Seed's landing there. Perfect. That's what I want to see. Uh, we also want, like, a detector on this guy. Um... So what we could use is the RF. There's a there's a there's a inventory checker. Does that sound cool? Is that the one I want? There's there's two blocks from refined storage that do similar things in this regard, and I always mix them up. But inventory checker might be what I'm looking for. What are my other options here? Sequencer, logic, timer, wire, redstone receiver. I, that that could be it. Um. So can I do that? and have it be slot zero, amount one, prosperity shard, tag on set, ignore damage, tag, I'm not sure what tag does. But if I do that, can I have a redstone signal coming off of this guy now? Right? Uh, and now if I put a prosperity seed in there, hooray! Now he knows when he's ready to craft. Ha <laughs> ha! And then uh, let's have a repeater here. I may need this to be a longer delay, but we'll see. Now, will you go and be cool and, 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 and you know, probably not. Uh, 
How about that? Uh, boop. Boop. That works for me. Yeah? Okay. Cool. Uh, and then what about this? What we could have here. Um, can I do this? I think I can do this. And then essence from mystical agriculture. So how about inferium, prudentium, tertium, imperium, supremium. And just in case we ever get there, insanium. So you will allow those and those four. And these four will get the same thing, but in deny mode. Right? So you're not allowed to put those items in, right? So let's say um, you will be an insert on white with allow. Okay, that seems pretty cool to me. You on the up will be an insert on white with allow, with deny. Let's make it that, right? So that is deny. You on the up will be an insert on white with allow. You on the up will be an insert on white with deny. So basically, like, when I'm going to make emerald seeds, right, the four will get the supremium because they allow supremium, and then the four items that show up in there will be emeralds. They will not match the supremium filter, so they will go in the other ones. Does that make sense? Right? So this was deny, so this will be allow. On the up, insert allow. On the up, insert deny. And I could do four allows and four denies, but I thought this would be cooler. On the up, insert allow. And then on the up, insert deny. And in fairness for deny, we should add prosperity seed bases, right? Because we don't want prosperity seed bases to make their way into the edges here. Right, so deny prosperity seeds, and the allow won't allow prosperity seeds in, so that's that's the way we want it. Cool. Um, and then you, on the up, will be an insert on white allow prosperity seed bases. Uh huh. Cool. All right. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Okay. Now you should connect to one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. And you should connect to here, which will be my extract on white on the up. Yeah, I don't want to use that one. I'll use just one of these. Extract on white, one item at a time. And let's make your insertion of this stuff be a low priority. Because we don't want the redstone signal to trigger until all the items make their way in. So what happens if I do one of these and four of these? What happens if this goes first? I'm just curious. Boom. Should make its way over to there. He's emitting the redstone signal. Now if I do this, they will slowly make their way around. And then the emeralds will make their way around. Will it start crafting? It will. <gasps> that is cool. So actually the timing of when the seed gets there doesn't matter. So we'll just leave that at zero for priority. Okay, I'm cool with this. And just to be clear, you'll only insert one seed at a time. Beautiful, beautiful. So now if I just set on the up here, every tick, right? Let's just do like 12-ish of these and three of these. That should very quickly be cool, huh? That is neato. <gasps> I like this. I do. I think this is neat. What do you guys think? Did I put too many prosperity seeds in there? I might have. So that's super neat, right? How cool is that? Uh, 
Uh, that seems to be working. And then I can do the exact same thing with diamonds without having to modify the system, right? So if we did like this, this, and this in the chest here, that should be cool. Yeah? And it all just works. Because, because we did the whitelisting and blacklisting the way we did, we know we'll always put prosperity seeds in here. They'll never go anywhere else. We'll always put some form of essence in four, and we'll put the other non-essence items in the others. The only way this would possibly gum up is if we allowed multiple crafts at the same time through a request system. But I'm probably going to manually be doing this. Like, I'm not going to refine storage it. What I'm going to do is just manually put the items in. So, like, if I put a tier four and a tier five seed set of ingredients at the same time it might intermingle some of the ingredients, right? So it might put like two redstone and two emeralds. Or it might put two supremium and two imperium, right? Like it would put the, like, you know, two tier fives and two tier threes, or two emeralds and two redstones. That's the way this could be messed up. But if you, you know, do like a blocking mode kind of thing on this, you'd probably be okay. You'd probably be okay. And uh, mark the not very nice has just awoken nearby. Okay, so now if I plop down, uh, let's get, how about, uh, that should be nine, right? Nine in a row. So let's get four more emerald seeds, right? Um, emerald, why did I put this stuff away? I, I, I didn't mean to, I'm just not very smart. But emeralds, and of course I need to, so I said four more emerald seeds? Cool. And then the Supremium. And then four of these. Excellent. That is neat. So that'll make my life easier. Because having to stand there and hit the button all the time would be annoying. I can now just dump a bunch of ingredients in the chest and know it'll make all the seeds for me appropriately. Which I think is cool. You guys also let me know what you think. But I, 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 I for one, think it's cool. Perfect. And then we'll do, you know, a bunch more emeralds in a minute. All right. Now, uh, I'm trying to avoid having to do the elemental craft stuff again, which is why I have so many lily pads of fertility. So we're going to see how fast lily pads of fertility make stuff grow. Are you not that fast, lily pad? Is the bananas level speed not at all from lily pads? I thought I thought lily pads were helping a lot here. Maybe they're not. We're getting a little bit of progress, but not not a huge amount, right? It's not it's not bananas. I was hoping for bananas. I don't see any bananas over here. We may need to do we may need to do a growth shrine, right? I think that's, I think a growth shrine is in our future. Because having a, having a, a, a field of emerald seeds, I think, would be cool. I mean, it's working, right? It's just not even a little bit exciting. I thought the lily pads were, like, way better than that. The lily pads were helping more than they were over here. Maybe they're not, they're just not that great. I'm, get, I'm getting a not that great kind of vibe. All right, so we may need to do an overgrowth shrine. The lily pads are, are out. So, over, uh, so we're going to want a growth shrine. Right. Uh, and did this have some kind of like special doohickey on it? He had a boneless growth shrine upgrade. Uh, right. And then that sits in the water, which is then underneath the, the harvester pylon. Right. And then we're going to want some accelerator dudes. 
from its element to that. And then we're probably going to want a water. One of these would be cool, a reservoir, right? And then we're gonna want a couple improved element extractors. Let's get two improved element extractors. Uh, and then we're gonna want a couple water uh, dudes. And I'll be back once I make all this because what we're gonna wanna do is pop into here and the overgrowth shrine. Ask me how that got there, I assume Enderman. But if I control click this, he should be able to handle most of that. And then we just need bone meal. You don't know how to make bone meal? Fail. Right? Yeah, cool. And he's working on his earth crystal, which is cool. I assume. Beautiful. Dude, I love when things are automated. And the growth shrine was what? Uh, water. Water, 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 water. So you, you, you. One, two, three. And that should be making the growth shrine. And then for the boneless shrine upgrade, we'll get that cooking. And I'll come back when all this crafting is done because I need, you know, several pures. So we're going to want four more of these for the accelerations. Uh, and then we're going to want uh, one of these. You don't know how to make spring things? I thought you knew how to make those. All right, back in a few. All right, water uh, nodes are not that easy to find, but I got one so far. I'm working on the second. Uh, how's my pures coming along? We've got the four, cool. So accelerations times four shouldn't be too bad then. And we should be well on our way. And then you can combine with this other pristine water gem I made to make this, cool. Uh, back in a sec once I find another water dude. Might be one around here somewhere. They're kind of hard to see, too. You kind of can't move too fast. So, like, there's an air. Yeah, they're not easy to find sometimes. There's a fire. I'll get one. I've literally seen, like, five of every other element except water. <laughs> this is what I do off camera for you guys. Look, there's two Earths right next to each other. Still no waters. Finally found one. That looks right. And don't forget, you do have to analyze these before you can pick them up. What was that? Capacity is 72, recovery 26, generous 2. That looks like a nice one. I guess it was worth the wait. I guess. I guess. All right, so I think I've got everything we're going to need here. So let's go underground and let's get ready. Right. So here is where we're going to want to put our shrine with the boneless growth shrine on top, right? And then that should hopefully be cool. Now, how about we clear out all this water, because that's just going to be super annoying super fast. Much better. Cool. All right, so the harvester pylon should be saturated in water now, which is neat. And... What I can do is clear you out. I might put some of those lily pads back. We'll see. But like I said, not blown away by the by the awesomeness of the lily pads um, as they were. All right, so let's try this again. So we'll have the growth shrine here. We'll have the boneless growth shrine add on there. Okay, and. I was going to do, um, I was going to do a, a big element container, but I don't think I really need it. What I'll probably do is just this and 
We're definitely going to want some more improved pipes. So get me a handful of those while we're waiting. But you're just going to like that. Yes. And the extractors also need some elemental doohickeys. So we're going to want two element containers here for the extractors to sit on top of. Right. So my improved pipes are coming. We'll wait for the crafting. It'll be a sec. All right, that should be enough. So what we'll do is we'll have you and you. How about like this? Extract, extract. Welcome to Thermal Series. Oh, you know what? I think Thermal had a... Sweet, harvesting raw tin equals that. Neat. Uh, yes, very exciting, but not necessarily necessary at the moment. And then here we'll have, uh, now can I do this without too much of a problem? I think so. Or should I put them down one? Um, this is the part that will be more annoying to move if I decide to change it. So I think what I'll do... Right, and then extract, extract, extractor, extractor. And then the accelerators can go one, two, three, four. Make sure you're not across a chunk boundary of any kind. And chunks are all loaded here. I should load this one up just to be safe. Cool. That all looks good to me, right? Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you not extracting from him just yet. I'm going to let these build up, and then we'll turn it on and see if I'm right about how fast it's going to be. So then I just need you uh, to recharge. And getting a stabilizer might not be a terrible idea. Source stabilizer. Back in a sec. All right, just making another batch of these seeds while I'm waiting for uh, some more stuff. And then I'm probably going to want some more Supremium Essence. So I'd better get to work on that. Let's get another stack of it if I can. Shouldn't be too bad. Am I out of Prosperity Sheaves? Did I not put enough in there? It's always possible. So how do we turn out here? I have so many. Did I math this wrong? Oh yeah, I did, didn't I? <laughs> that's funny. All right, well that's fine. Uh, yeah, no, I totally mathed. I totally mathed this wrong. Uh, yeah, because I was doing, in my head, I was doing eight emeralds in essence per uh, seed, but it's four of each. It's eight total items, but it's four of each. So I totally mathed that wrong. Uh, so in reality, I probably want one more batch of emerald. And supremium, and then we should be cool. Maybe that should be 18. Nice. Okay. And I'd like four more of these. So 16, 16 and four, right? That one I mathed correctly, I believe. Oh, and you can totally take accelerate this middle dude if you want. If you want him to be a little bit faster, technically I probably don't need this delay anymore, right? Because he doesn't need a delay. Uh, and then in addition, we could uh, overclock the extract because we're waiting a second for every extract. Now you, my good sir. Is that cool? And then we could put like diamonds over here. I like the sound of it. How are we doing with water? Are you guys making water yet? You are making water. Yay. That stall tactic worked. All right, so let's watch right now without... Right? 
So he's good, but he's not amazing. Let's see what happens when I turn this on with the four overclockers. Boom. That's feeling pretty, pretty better. I'm assuming you're running, right? Like you're definitely on and working. One can only assume. Yeah, I think that's definitely an improvement. All right, now we want you and a, you know, probably don't really need that because all you're doing is extracting, right? So I could just do a logistical sorter and an ender chest. As frequently as I make ender chests, I really should have them on the autocraft, but it's me. All right, so you should have no problem extracting all that stuff and making lots of emeralds for me. I don't know how much of an improvement this is going to be, but I guess we'll find out. Um, I, I suspect this has to help, right? I mean, we're getting lots of emeralds here. Yeah, it's definitely helping. We'll find out how much. And just to be clear, if I remove the lily pads real quick, you're still growing pretty quickly, right? My growth shrine not working? That's what I was really wanting to test is, is the growth shrine working? It doesn't feel like it is, right? Rides. Growth shrine from its level up to three blocks above, right? To grow crops that cannot grow from bill consumes the water element. So if he's at this Y level, this would be one block above would be here, two blocks above would be here, and three blocks above would be these. Shouldn't these be accelerating? Now, so what we can do. Let's get a watering can real quick. Why did you break all those seed? Why? Why did you three by three that? I'm very confused, but uh, so if I were to this and this and that, are you growing now? So you're getting ticked there, right? And that's got to be from the growth shrine. So does the growth shrine not work at three above? Because it says it does, but it doesn't actually seem to be working. None of these guys are getting growth ticked. I got to move my growth shrine up one. Yeah, buddy which means I can't really have it exactly centered. Otherwise it won't work where the harvester pylon is. So I probably just want to move it back one. So what I'll do is right. We're going to want um, to move this here. And what we'll want is you with the growth shrine here. And the, this guy there, the accelerations like this. Did I put that up one like I wanted to or no? Okay, right. Uh, so I want the growth shrine here yes and then the boneless dude here 
And then this guy up one. And we should be able to sneak one, two, three, four of these like that. Now let's see if you're behaving. Oh, that's definitely better. You know what's funny about that is that tells me that this growth shrine has not been working this entire time. And this is why we test things, friends. Okay. Uh, with that knowledge now intact, uh, can I do this without making too much of a mess? Not really. Can you get placed inside of a water source block? We're going to find out. Yep. And you guys are going to keep running now? Good. Um, can I do this and this without making too much of a mess down there? The answer appears to be yes. Now we're cooking. Now that's what I wanted to see. That's the kind of speed I wanted to see going on here. How's this feel? Pretty good? Now if we look at our emeralds here, we should be seeing a lot of emeralds coming in. And we'll see the same for diamonds as well. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is make two more sets of diamonds. So if I got another stack of Supremium, plus eight, right? Because a stack would be 16, and eight would be 17, 18. And then diamonds would also be a stack plus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then prosperity seeds, we're just gonna get a stack of those, but realistically what we want is 18. And then once we get our Supremium coming in, which shouldn't be too long, it should start showing up any second, uh, I want this to be a stack, and then I'll pull a whole stack out. It's crafting it all. Come on, Supremium. There you go. Okay. So these guys and this, and you should all start crafting. up you can be every tick looking good to me and there's your 18 see why I automated that that would have been a nuisance to do manually this feels a lot better now and I should probably look to fix this guy at some point so what I'll do is I will break you and that's effectively okay and I should probably have another acceleration dude in here so let's kick off that craft but effectively This is where I want the overload shrine to be, right? So we'll have the growth shrine here. One, two, three, four. We can have the over, the bone mealy dude here. I picked up a uranium seed from this, so I should fix that. Okay. So then you're gonna be your boneless growth shrine. What do you mean, huh? There shouldn't be any huh around here. Hey, I said no huh. Who do you think you are saying huh to me? Camera. Yeah, 
Goodbye, named dude. Vindicator guy. Right? And that's a lot faster. Holy cow, that is so much better. That is so good. Yeah, these growth shrines are awesome. And I can't wait for the comments in this video where everybody tells me how stupid I am for having this have not working this whole time. But in fairness, it says, you know, up to three blocks above. So the correct answer is it's up to two blocks above, not three. All right. Let's call that wrapping up point for the episode. So this will probably yield way more. Right? Like every few seconds we're getting a ton of the emerald dudes and diamond dudes coming in, right? So yes, very cool. And you should be fine with this, right? Like you're not having a problem with backstuffing, right? Because it dumps everything immediately in here, which then gets extracted out. So I think that's cool. Wrapping up point for the episode, Daryl 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll come back next time and see if this had any impact on the speed at which we're producing emeralds. I'm hoping that it's making things a little better for me, but you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens, right? In theory, we should be seeing this flickering. Like, see how much fat? That's definitely faster. Way faster than it was before, right? So I'm, I'm on board. I think this was good. All right, take it easy.